Hello, hi, how are you? I hope you are well. I hope you are blessed. It is Leah Tess and I'm back again with another video, baby. So today I'll be showing you guys how I installed this lovely unit. Her name is Chi on the amazing Chioma from BK Chat. However, just before we get into it, I got to shout out my nail tech and whatever because sis snapped. She did the damn thing. Yes, she did. I will leave all of her information in the description box below. She is affordable and extremely talented. So show her page some love, please. So I went and put some highlights in, a half head of highlights to be exact off camera. And I'm about to go in with my Tresemme Heat Protect you know what I said before, if you don't protect your hair with some heat protecting, then you're playing games. <laughs> you want your hair to be crispy, that's fine sis, go ahead. Have fun. So I'm about to do what I usually do, which is go in and blow dry with my duo, my Tresemme hairbrush and my Tresemme blow dryer. Um, this just really helps to just dry the hair a lot quicker than you know using a standard blow dryer and i didn't have time to air dry so this was just a perfect option so as you also can see the bottom half of the hair is a lot darker than the top half again as i mentioned i did do a half head of highlights because i was going for a particular look if you want to find out more information about highlights the different types of highlights the different shades of highlights i'm happy to do a video on that but you you have to leave a comment in the description box below don't forget to hit that like button guys please show the algorithm that just this is serious and whatever because i really want to continue to bring you guys content and in order for me to do that you guys need to hit those thumbs up so please show your sis some love anyways let's get back into this straightening and whatever so what I'm about to do now is go in with my hot comb and just flatten out the hairline. This is so important, guys. I cannot stress to you how important this is and what a difference it makes. I've been doing hair for a minute now and I have really noticed that doing this before installing makes the install process so much quicker so much easier because let's be honest nobody wants to be pushing a very hot comb on their forehead <laughs> baby you'll get burnt <laughs> and i am not trying to burn nobody so yeah definitely take this step and um do it on the mannequin head if you have one available in addition, I'm quite heavy handed, so it just makes so much more sense. I'm going in with my first layer of Bold Hold. I absolutely stand by Bold Hold. The only other glue I would recommend that I have personally taken a liking to is the Escher Lace with glue. I have yet to use some of the other industry moguls um, hair glue. One, one that I'm actually interested in is the gripped glue and I will be doing a glue haul for you guys soon. So again, hit that like button baby because uh, I'm trying to bring you all the tea. Like, what, why, why would you not want that? Anyways, just taking back that extra little piece of lace that's there and um, about to go in with the second layer just make sure guys as you apply your glue that you do so um in a thin layer try not to make it too thick and try to just evenly spread it out as you can see this is a seven by seven closure so there is no need for me to go all the way across the forehead because it is a wig that is designed to stay in a side part and yeah we're going in now and just evenly spreading out that second layer of glue personally the glue that i would recommend you stay away from is ghost bond i will get into that again in a future video of why i say that 
I'm just laying that lace in what I did is go in with some lace tint that I used from Diamond Diva sometimes I use Diamond Diva sometimes I use Wigorous and sometimes I use some lace tint from Bella Moore it just depends on the skin tone of my client however this tint worked perfectly for Chioma so all I'm doing now is flattening the lace into the glue allowing the glue to penetrate the little holes and give that extra melt now you just want to go in and start cutting the lace in a zigzag motion do not cut straight across otherwise you will have a very solid and strong hairline <laughs> and, <laughs> sorry you don't want that nobody wants that so just make sure guys if you don't have little scissors you can most definitely use a razor in fact they cut a bit better but i am so used to using my scissors um and it works for me now i'm just going to go in and prep her hair whilst the front of the hairline dries and just go in make sure that everything is perfect again because i straightened this off off head it just makes the install a lot quicker a lot easier and all i need to focus on is just making sure everything looks perfect so i'm going to go in one more time and because i already hot combed the front of the hairline which you can see this was not very keen on <laughs> <laughs> I didn't need to go to the front which is what most of my clients do not really like and a perfect combination is the wax stick from Kera Care with the hot comb honey your hair will forever be laid so now we've just taken the elastic band off and I'm just going to loosen up the hairs perfect the hairline I should have got a slightly better angle for you guys but your girl is new to the YouTube game so you know you gotta like work with me work with me um right now all i'm doing is just lightly loosening up the hairs adding a little bit of a swoop uh on the side so that we don't have a odd looking hairline we want to go natural as natural as possibly as possibly we can get and yeah i'm just gonna go in as well and use some mousse to do this um be careful which mousse that you do use sometimes certain mousses can lift your lace the mousse that i'm using is from ors all i'm doing now is just slightly plucking in between the hairline just to make sure that it is as natural again as possible that is the look that i like to achieve i am not against baby hairs but i do prefer a lovely natural looking hairline as this tends to be a bit more easier for my clients to maintain when they leave so as mentioned i went in with some ors mousse i love all of ors's products guys chat to them for me all right i have a word take them around the corner and let them know that your girls promoting them out here and that they need to sponsor me okay <laughs> thank you but yeah so just again going back in making sure that i lay down everything honey i'm loving the scalp i hope you love it too and yes i'm gonna go back again and tie her down one more time with a bigger band this covers more of like a surface area so to speak which just again helps to just make sure we get that extra laid look and we do not want this lace lifted at all so tied her back down again and i'm just going to go back in one more time and just make sure everything is in place and we are more or less at the end guys so here is the finished look and whatever i mean stunning absolutely gorgeous just take it in <laughs> 
yes honey flex on them oh my gosh guys please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like i want to bring you so much more content i hope you enjoyed the video today and i hope i see you again soon stay blessed it's leah tess honey i'm out baby I'm <laughs> sorry.